2021 had some crazy knockouts. Corey Sanhagen's knee on Frankie Edwards was crazy. crazy. The way Francis switched up the right hand to the left hand to knock out Stipe was nuts. Yep. Jorge Masvidal got knocked out bad by Kamaru Usman. Sleep, sleep. Rose Nama Yunus Ooh. with that beautiful front head kick Ooh. that put out Zhang Wei Li. And then Yuri Prohaska hit that spinning elbow on my man Dominic Reyes. Dude, we have seen some insane knockouts this year. So look at that. Oh my god. I goodness. love it. The, yeah, I mean, yeah. Beautiful. <laughs> if our hey we, RC. If only if those the award were real. goes to. And the award goes to RC. Who you got? You go first. All right. For me, Frankie Edgar, when he fought Corey Sanhagen. Woo. Because listen, RC. Yeah. That was lightning. You too. know Frankie. Dude, you know Frankie. And you know Frankie's going to move forward. Mm -hmm. You know Frankie's going to dart in and out. He even did it in his last fight against Chito Vera. Yeah. But he just got caught again. But, like, he darts in and out. So if you can time it with something nice, you may be able to do what Corey Sanhagen did. So for Sanhagen to be backing up, yep. knowing that Frankie's going to enter. <sighs> off his back foot, jump to the knee, landed so beautifully. Insane. And for, honestly, again, the story, Ryan. Ryan, we sat in that apex. And they panned the camera away from Frankie. Yeah. So you yeah. guys couldn't see it. I've never heard this place more quiet. It was, you could hear a pin drop in there, dude. He was laying on his on his stomach for a good three minutes before uh, they they were able to, they got him up and sat him up and everything. It was brutal. It yeah. was a highlight finish and for me. I don't not going to the year. DC, I don't think people understand how hard that is to execute because, yeah. unlike you, I am not a professional fighter, but I do <laughs> frequent UFC gyms. And when I'm in there, <laughs> I, I get to the bag and like I try all these things that I've seen happen on TV or that I've seen happen on ESPN+. And to just generate power on a flying knee when you are moving forward is difficult. So for Corey Sanhagen to be that quick, that sudden, that explosive, that accurate, in that moment, I thought that was absolutely crazy. And who could forget Usman Masvidal, right? It's after the after the first fight when they had basically a foot stumping match against the octagon the whole fight. And now you pull you pull the arm down, come over with the straight, come over with the straight right. Rose shocks the world, right? Zhang Wei Li, did, she didn't even know what happened. But DC, here's what I'm learning about you. You're a front runner type guy, like you mentioned early on in the show. You go for the low hanging fruit. You go for what's easy. Easy. Everybody knows it's Yuri Prohaska versus Dominique Reyes. That that is the knockout of the year. That's the knockout that 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 put him on the map. We have to remember Dominique Reyes was what two two fights removed from fighting John Jones, right? This and, was a, um, and a lot of people thought he won. A lot of people but thought he, he got knocked. But he got knocked out bad by, by Jan, Jan, right? Like yeah, he got knocked out yeah, bad by Jan. Jan knocked him out. But but to me, my thought process was okay. This guy is going to regain it back, right? He's going to he's going to get back to that form that saw him get an opportunity to fight for the title against one of the greatest fighters of all time and actually push him to the brink. And when you saw the aggression, right, the violence, the precision. <laughs> that Yuri Prohaska was uh, uh, attacking him with, constantly going forward, throwing unorthodox strikes. I thought to, to land that and what ensued once it touched him was one of those things, like it's, it's when somebody who believes that they're tough, like me, takes the remote and go, nah, <laughs> that ain't for me. Nah, they, they can have that jump. I'm cool. Ryan. You know? Ryan, you know, you know what to me about, <laughs> you know what to me about Yuri is like, it doesn't seem real. Right. It does not seem real that he is that reckless, that he that that he does not care that much when he's in front of the scariest people in the world. He is in front of legit the most talented mixed martial artists in the world, and he goes and throws caution to the wind, Ryan, in every situation, my friend. He just does not care. He just goes and does his thing, and that fight against Dominic Reyes was absolute was proof of that. That it bro. don't matter who's in front of this dude. Hey, RC, I saw this dude in Abu Dhabi. So He's explosive. big, bro. He's tall, right? Yeah. You got to be 6'4". DC. I could not believe the size of Pohashka. DC, you was the only tall little person that ever won a light heavyweight <laughs> or heavyweight championship. He big. I couldn't believe how tall he was. He's taller than Stipe. He's a big dude, bro. Right. And the fact that I thought he was big, even though he was weighing in as the alternate yeah. at 205, tells you how big your Prohaska really is. And honestly, he is a tough matchup for the new champ. 
Glover Teixeira. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.